A top story comes from North Korea. Now, North Korea has now released pictures of leader Kim Jong-un overseeing the testing of a super large multiple rocket launcher. The eighth launch since the meeting between U.S. President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the DMZ. Kim Jong-un, who had guided the testing of the same multiple rocket launcher before, said its capabilities have been finally verified in terms of combat operation. According to the South Korean military, the projectiles are fired from the South Pyongyang province. The two new unidentified projectiles flew for over 330 kilometers to the east. The timing of the launch is strange in many ways and puts it apart from the previous ones. All of North Korea's launches last month were a mark of protest against the military exercise between the U.S. and South Korea. But this time, the launch came hours after North Korea expressed willingness to restart talks with the U.S. Reports indicate that these tests, in fact, show North Korea's growing military prowess. Many of the new missiles are capable of evading interception by the U.S., South Korea and Japan. Now, Trump said that he had, in fact, taken note of the launches, but did not comment further. Remember, in the past, Trump has extended a long rope to North Korea whenever such launches had been carried out. U.S. President uh, Trump has sacked National Security Advisor John Bolton, saying that he disagreed with many of the Bolton's suggestions. Now, Trump took to Twitter to make this announcement. His tweet read, and I quote here, I informed John Bolton last night that his services are no longer needed at the White House. I disagreed strongly with many of his suggestions, as did others in the administration, and therefore I asked John for his resignation, which was given to me this morning. Thank John very much for his service. I will be naming a new national security advisor next week. The minutes after Trump's tweet, uh, John Bolton took to Twitter and said in a quote here, I offered to resign last night and President Trump said, let's talk about it tomorrow, unquote. Now here is a picture of Bolton's resignation letter, which goes against the claims made by Trump of firing him. Have a look at it. A 70-year-old Bolton, who took up the post in April 2018, had also often been at odds with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who is a Trump loyalist, addressing the daily press briefing along with Stephen Mnuchin, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that U.S. President is well within his rights to choose his team. Listen. The President asked for Ambassador Bolton's resignation. As I understand it, it was received this morning. The President's entitled to the staff that he wants. At, at, any, at any moment. This is a staff person who works directly for the President of the United States, and he, he should have people that he trusts and values and whose uh, efforts and judgments benefit him in delivering American foreign policy. It's what, uh, as Cabinet Member Secretary Mnuchin and I try and do each and every day, and when the President makes a decision like this, he's well within his rights to do so. The firing of Bolton comes amid reports of divisions in the Trump cabinet over a cancelled peace plan to invite the Taliban to the U.S. Bolton had earlier opposed peace talks with the Taliban. A Trump's policy drew criticism, especially because of its timings close to the anniversary of the September 11th attacks by al-Qaeda. Bolton had served as Trump's top national security aide since April 9, 2018. Bolton was Trump's third national security advisor after Michael Flynn and H.R. McMaster. Bolton's departure sounds like good news for North Korea, who have earlier denounced him as a war maniac over his attempts to stop uh, Pyongyang's nuclear program. U.S. officials have also said that Bolton was responsible for the collapse of Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's second summit in Vietnam. Now, Bolton's departure could in fact help U.S. efforts to revive the talks with North Korea. Iran also has reasons to cheer this departure as Bolton had spearheaded Trump's policy against Iran. This includes the U.S. abandonment of a 2015 international nuclear deal with Tehran and reimposition of U.S. sanctions. His departure could now lead to softer policy in Iran.